For over 20 years, the USC Ross Minority Program in Real Estate has provided real estate practitioners, community leaders, public sector decision makers, and entrepreneurs with skills and expertise necessary to influence the development process in urban communities. We wanted people to get involved who thought about how to do something in an area where it needs to help. Not necessarily where you're gonna make the most money, but where you can make the biggest difference. We teach people how to think about redeveloping places that are troubled. If you can improve places, the chance of bad things happening goes down. It makes life better for everybody. The Ross program literally helps you to understand how do you get from a thought to a groundbreaking, to a grand opening, to folks actually moving in and the economic development just continues to flourish. The mission of the USC Ross Minority Program is to enable members of minority groups and those that invest time, talent, and financial resources in emerging communities to establish a foundation toward becoming leaders in real estate finance and development. Economic development is critical in the underserved communities. Real estate goes in as truly the first piece to develop the shelter and it's really very, very critical. It's the first piece that takes place in providing some economic stability to an environment. Without economic development, communities cannot flourish. The roots of the Ross Minority Program in Real Estate began in 1992, following the civil unrest that took place after the Rodney King verdict. The way the program came about was that many of us in the city were, were again searching for the opportunity to do whatever we could personally to heal some of the wounds that were so evident as a part of the Rodney King verdict. During this time, the city of Los Angeles was faced with an unprecedented and immediate need for experienced real estate professionals to aid in rebuilding. There was a lot of anger in the community. There was a lot of frustration about what had happened. And some people wanted more of a, quote, community-based approach to the revitalization effort that would eventually take place. The idea being that if we could build up the expertise within the inner city, then we could replace a lot of those structures and businesses that were lost as a result of the riots. Real estate development can often be the catalyst for additional economic development. It's very hard for things to happen in a vacuum, especially in these kinds of communities. And real estate development, by creating commercial enterprise where none exists, can have a catalytic effect beyond just the immediate development. The program was really launched to help provide the skills and the tools necessary to really be able to ask the questions and gain a little bit more experience in terms of the development process. 20 years uh, after the program started, there's 700 plus students that are going on to do exactly that. Today, the Ross program remains committed to educating minorities in real estate development, not only to revitalize urban communities, but also to diversify the real estate industry. Who better to know what to put in a neighborhood that's mostly minority, but minorities themselves, instead of another developer coming in and telling what the community wants or what they need. If we look at our communities, there are a number of communities that we consider underserved. And underserved can mean from a number of different areas. And one is really the opportunity for professional advancement. And we at U.S. Bank believe in education as a key to that advancement. So with Stan Ross, we give specific skills to the real estate industry and really allow young professionals to have a broader view of their career path. Real estate is not just about places, it's also about people. While there have been gains for diversity among industry leadership, there is still a long way to go before the real estate industry mirrors our society. Five of the 157 companies in the REIT indexes compiled by Bloomberg are run by women. According to the Urban Land Institute, current minority representation in the private and public sectors of real estate ranges from 3% to about 19%, compared to a national rate of 30%. The U.S. Census Bureau predicts that by 2042, 54% of the population will be Hispanics, African Americans, or Asian Americans. The nation's demographics are changing, and the USC Ross program is helping the real estate industry change with them. USC is really the perfect place for the Ross Minority Program, partly because we are located in the center of the city. We have a very diverse student body, but also a very diverse and underserved neighborhood. USC has been committed to supporting and working with that neighborhood. And at the same time, uh, we have one of the best education programs in real estate in the country and the very best research center in real estate in the country. 
Designed as an inclusive executive education experience, the Ross program brings individuals from a wide variety of backgrounds and perspectives together to solve complex real estate challenges using lectures, site visits, panel discussions, and hands-on projects. The program's diverse faculty covers a range of topics, including real estate finance, market analysis, and site planning. Participants leave the program with an understanding of finance and the development process, as well as access to a substantial industry network. It fills a gap in the industry. There's still no other program like the Ross program in Los Angeles, where you connect people to people, people that you wouldn't have access to in any other way. And it's vital to getting people of different backgrounds into the field. And without that, then we really can't cultivate the next generation. I know the industry people. I've been in the industry a long time. I'm the old man, you know, in, in the room. I connect them up. So connect them up to lecture, mentor, but more important is the connectivity for the students because that's linkage to knowledge and potential jobs. In 2003, Stan and Marilyn Ross endowed the Minority Real Estate Program with a generous gift, allowing the program to expand and educate future generations of industry leaders. Under Stan's thoughtful leadership, the program is working toward creating a talent base of real estate professionals that is reflective of the changing demographics of our society. When USC had troubles at its doorstep, as it did 20 years ago, its instinct was not to close itself off from the community, but rather to try to embrace the community. And the Ross program contributed to that, to really saying we care about the neighborhood that we're in and want to make it better. SC is extremely supportive of the real estate program that we have. Uh, we are unique in the creation of developers of the future. When you complete the program, you literally create champions. You create champions for urban development. 